One day, I was at my girlfriend's house. It was a Friday, it was after work. My mum rang and she just said, look, we've always said we'll be up front with you. And she said, we've had some really bad news. She said, your father has prostate cancer. I'd love to tell you it's not serious, but it is. It looks like it's traveled and, it, and it's gonna be terminal. And I said, can I talk to him? And she said, he doesn't wanna to talk to you right now. She goes, call us tomorrow. She goes, he just can't. And I said, okay. And when I spoke to him, I just knew that he couldn't say much. And he'd just say, don't come home, don't come home. He goes, you just keep staying in Melbourne. And I'm like, dad, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> then just one day I said to mum, I'm coming home. Yeah, I knew. I knew they wouldn't have called me if it wasn't. They didn't know it was terminal. I think they would have left it and seen what had happened. So that was the one day. One day, of course, we're going to find a way of treating this so people never have to go through the suffering that they have when they have widespread cancer. And research is the only way to resolve that. Whether it's a new painkiller or a new way of relieving pain or whether it's a developing new ways of stopping the cancer spread to the bones. Research is the only way to change this, and that's the long-term goal of the Institute. Be innovative, make discoveries, translate those into clinical trials, and then into new health medicine. I've got three beautiful children, but I've got two boys. And my father and my wife's father both died of widespread prostate cancer. So one day, I hope I never have to hear the news that my father gave me in November of 1988. It's horrible and it's not fair. And he didn't deserve that and nor did our family to watch that.